Hi everyone, my name is Scott, and today I'll be talking about Dean Phillips and his journey from running his family's distillery to the Halls of Congress. So Dean Phillips is currently one of seven presidential candidates for 2024 in the Democratic Party. And today, through an exploration of his background, I'll be to, I want, my purpose today is to provide an understanding and comprehension of his qualifications as a presidential candidate. And through this, I hope, we, uh, hope to empower other voters to make informed decisions in the upcoming presidential election. So Dean Phillips worked at his family's business, Phillips Distillery, before stepping aside to run one of the best-selling ice cream brands in the country, Palmfield Gelato, delighting his taste buds across the country. And today, I want to be talk. Firstly, I want to talk about his background in business and politics, his goals and objectives if he were elected president, and why many Americans may agree or disagree with his political views. So, starting with the educational background, Dean Phillips attended Brown University for his undergraduate degree and University of Minnesota for his master's in business administration. And following his graduation, he took over his family's distillery and then went on to become the CEO of Palmetto Gelato. And according to a Forbes, an article on Forbes by Rob Mandelbaum in 2017, Phillips served as the CEO from 2000 to 2012 until it was sold to another company, Unilever. And then in 2016, Phillips founded his own coffee shop chain called Penny's Coffee, based in Minnesota. And jumping forward in 2018, Phillips was elected into Congress as a representative for Minnesota's third district. And according to an article on AP News by Kelly Smith in 2018, he became the first Democrat to win the seat since 1958. And since then, he's been re-elected twice. And so I want to move on to his campaign, his, pres his presidential campaign. So his campaign includes a lot of things, a few being affordability, and he wants to bring down the cost of living through affordable houses and affordable apartments. And he also wants to provide affordable health care through Medicare for all while preserving choice. And he also focuses on investments in younger people. And what that looks like, according to Dean24.com, Phillips' official campaign website, is providing tuition-free college and vocational training, zero interest student loans, and restoring the expanded child tax credit while also creating an affordable child care system. And so moving on to his opposition, why, in order to give an unbiased presentation, I want to talk about why many Americans may agree or disagree with his political stance. So many of his campaigns portray himself as a secondary to Biden, so Americans who aren't satisfied with Biden's administration may not be so fond of Phillips' administration. And so while Phillips is a politician, he's also a businessman with a $124 million net worth. He's actually one of the wealthiest members of Congress, and so to many Americans, it may, may seem out of touch with the working class, so he wouldn't be able to truly advocate for our needs. And lastly, he's had some controversial town halls where he's made questionable statements regarding race and what's gone into what seemed like an argument with one of his constituents. So in conclusion, while he does have a well-rounded campaign that addresses housing cri the housing crisis and student loans, and he seemingly advocates for the people, but it seems he's haunted by a questionable background and a campaign that seems almost like a vanity. But as everything in politics, everything is subjective, so I encourage you all to do your own research on not only Phillips, but all 2024 presidential candidates. Thank you.